Hi, I'm Tim Coulter, head of the Indian Law Resource Center. Many Indian and Alaska Native nations are living in misery around this country because of poverty, because of a lack of jobs, and because they still are just not treated fairly. Let me tell you about one case. A very small and poor tribe lives on a small piece of land in Death Valley, California. This is the Timbisha Shoshone tribe. Not long ago, they were deprived of nearly all their homeland because of a fraudulent legal process handled by the federal government. They were awarded compensation less than a dollar an acre, and that award was placed in the United States Treasury. But then Congress passed a law taking away even that small compensation. Now, the United States Constitution says that Congress can't take anyone's property without due process of law and fair compensation. We're filing a lawsuit on behalf of the Timbisha Shoshone tribe to invalidate the government's taking of their money and to establish the principle that Congress must abide by the Constitution when it deals with Indian and Alaska Native nations and their lands and property. If we win this lawsuit, and I think we can, we'll at least get back the money that belongs to the Timbisha Shoshone people. And we'll establish an important legal principle that the U.S. government must abide by the U.S. Constitution. Could you help us do this? Could you help the Timbisha Shoshone tribe? I hope that you can. Please make a generous contribution. Thank you very much. For more information or to make an online donation, please visit our website at www.indianlaw.org or mail us a donation at 602 North Ewing Street, Helena, Montana, 59601. Your contribution makes a big difference.